Steve, are you OK? Save your breath if I were you. He's too weak, he can't respond. What's happened to him? Just a mild interrogation and something to help him sleep. I take it that's the sunny eye of rocks. Of course it is. Now, watch. Where is he? Who's he talking about? Where is he? Steve! Now time to save the day. How did we get here so fast, Robo? I do not know. I received a transmission that had strange coordinates with it. Once I program them in, you all appeared back here on the bench. Well, let's not worry about that now. Our main priority should be towards Steve. Let's get him into bed and help him relax and regain his strength a bit. God. Where is he? Where's Tawera? He wanted information from me, but... It couldn't have been him. Could it? All right, Steve, calm down. It's OK, you're on the bench right now, you're safe. Emma, she was there, and then she wasn't. Oh, I don't understand. What do you mean Emma was there? Where was she? In the room I was in. Tell where I left, and then later Emma showed up. But she was there only very briefly. But Steve, I've been with Lizzie all this time. It couldn't have been me. That's right. You must be delirious. I know what I saw, damn it! Let's just leave him to rest. He's been through a lot. Robo, what do you have on the transmission? Nothing. I was unable to make out anything from it other than the instructions on how to get you back. What about the location of the transmission? I am sorry. Nothing. We'll get to the end of it. I was wondering when I'd get to see you. What are you trying to do? Give me a heart attack? I remember you being a lot more aware of your surroundings. Enough of the small talk. You morphed as me. Why? I thought Steve could do with seeing a friendly face. Why do I get the feeling you're holding out on me? Well, maybe we both are. Getting emotionally involved is never part of your uncle's plans. I'm not getting emotionally involved. We've been through a lot. We're as close as any normal family. Close? So you've told them about your situation or our little situation we're in? Of course not. It would jeopardise everything. Anyway, enough about me. Steve's weak. What's happened to him? I gave him something to help the pain, besides seeing me pretty much sent him off the rails. I decreased the rays of the cell Yaira so that it wouldn't harm him in the way that the death wanted. It had to appear that way. It's a powerful tool anyway and it can only be controlled by a few. Thank you. You have kept your promise. My uncle will be proud of you. Are you? Never mind, don't answer that. You do know it's now up to you. I do. And in time everything will work out fine. I admire your faith. Well, I've got no choice. You know full well if we fail we'll all cease to exist. That can't happen again. Remember last time? I'll remember. Just keep an eye on him for me. I'll leave it up to you to tell them about your fate. Goodbye. I won't be gone for it. I hope not. How are you doing? I don't know. Confused? Betrayed? Mixed feelings, really. It seems... Tawara has disappeared. No one can find him. Robo can't even locate him. Don't worry. He'll be back. Look, you need to get some rest. You'll be right as rain, then. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Alert me once there's any news. 
Okay, sleep well, Steve. I'm so sorry for all of this. It's the only way.